Hello Steelers and welcome to this next game of O Group, uh, which is currently probably the top of my favourites and list of War Games rules at the moment. Uh, as you know, if you've watched the other uh, O Group videos, this is a battalion level game uh, produced by Ricewitz Press, written by Dave Brown. Uh, and you can find it for sale on the Two Fat Lardies website. So do so if you're enjoying these videos. It's a great game, it's a great, uh, great system. Uh, but today's game is going to be uh, set in 1945, I wanted a quite a late war game for this one. This is a, the Soviet attack on the German positions at the Silo Heights of April 16th, 1945. It's basically the last, the last point of, of defence before the, uh, the Soviets finally got into Berlin uh, and the Germans capitulated in the next month. Uh, so this is really like the last the last roll of the dice for the German Reich at this point. Uh, it's quite a rolling area, quite a flat area, there's not a great deal of uh, buildings or anything like that, it's quite uh, hilly uh, and open fields and things, so I'll try to emulate that a little bit in this table. I don't think there's a great deal else I can tell you about this, the reason I wanted to play a 1945 one is what, because I wanted to get some bigger tanks on the table, or more tanks at least, and that's kind of what I've gone for in this game. So I've gone for a, a medium-sized old group game, uh, just as a, a tester really to see how, how big we can go before we go even bigger. Uh, and it's it's proved uh, that I can I should probably put quite a few tanks on the table as well. So you'll see that when I show you the, the forces that are involved. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll show you the table, I will then show you the uh, the forces that we've got fighting and then we will we'll crack on with the game as usual. So as I say I've done the best really to emulate the area of the Sela Heights uh, to the east of Berlin. If we've got a ridge across the back which is where the Germans are defending from, a small hamlet, a little farm there uh, just as a, a, an, a, an urban area, a built up area in the rules and then just some small dots of, of uh, some fields here as well so agricultural land and also just a couple of trees and a bit of scrub here and there as well just to create some tactical bounds. Uh, I've also put a river on as well for no other reason really just to break up the border a little bit. So as I say it's quite a, uh, an open plain area uh, in real life around the Sealar Heights. So that's as much as, uh, that's you know it's not, not, uh, not a great deal to talk about on the board itself but that's pretty much it. The Soviet line of ads, uh, advance is going to be pretty much across this this side of the table towards the back end there. Uh, they will be using this clump of trees here as a consolidation point uh, that they can jump off from later on in the game if they capture it. it has to be clear of Germans of course. Uh, and then if they can at least clear at least half of these hills at the back of German defenders uh, I'm going to say that the Soviets have basically won. So they're not going for the the urban areas, they're going mainly for the terrain features and the Germans are going to be dug in on those hills. So let's have a little look at the forces that are involved in this and uh, as I said then we will crack on with that game. I also wanted to use points in this game as well just try to make it a little bit balanced really uh, and because of the size of the game, uh, it's a medium sized game, the Germans ended up with 19 points, the Soviets ended up with 27, but because they're a second rate battalion they get a plus 2 on their points uh, because it makes them a little worse than the Germans, so they do get even more points for the, as their attacker. The Germans have got their three uh, companies for their, uh, for their battalion, obviously each one of these has a company commander as well attached. They also paid for a heavy machine gun uh, as well which can be added to any. They have flexible reserves so they can add it to any of the units that they see fit at any point in the game. They also have two artillery missions that's um, depicted by these two VESPs here. Uh, that's their forward observer in the Kubelwagen and they also have 80mm uh, mortars. On top of this they also have a Tiger, Tiger 1, uh, so it'd be interesting to see how that does on the on the battlefield. I've only really used Panthers so far, Panthers and Panzer IVs, and we've also got Panzer IV as well, uh, just stuck in because you can't really have a German force without having Panzer IVs, I always think. Uh, I'm going to allow two of the companies to dig in as well, using trenches, 
so they're going to be hard as a hit because they were actually dug in on the Sealar Heights. So historically they would be. So that's why I've given two of the companies uh, digging in positions. However, the third company is a reserve, mobile reserve, so that one isn't dug in. But we'll see if they hold against the Soviets. And speaking of the Soviets, this is the attacking force. So they have their three companies, uh, A, B and C. Again, uh, they also paid for an engineer platoon as well to be added. Uh, that has got flamethrowers. So that's going to be an interesting change in the game to see what we do. Uh, we've also got our forward observer here in a jeep. Uh, he is accompanied here by the 80mm mortars, 82mm mortars for those Soviets. And then they've got three artillery missions, uh, one of which is the Katyusha. Uh, it makes no difference in the game, uh, I just thought I'd put it in because I don't, well, I don't actually have another artillery piece for the Soviets, but Katyusha seems, seems about apt in 1945, I think. The Soviets also paid for armour. They paid for a platoon of 40 34 76ers. So that's these four here. These are attached to plat uh, Company B because they don't have uh, reserves like the Germans. They have rigid reserves, so they have to attach them before the game starts, and they are doing. The engineer platoon is attached to Company C, so that's really their reserve company. So he'll be hopefully getting further forward once they've consolidated that woodland in the centre. And then Company A has uh, a platoon of... T-34 uh, 85s, so it's going to be interesting to see what these do in the game, because obviously it's a much bigger gun than uh, what I've used before in our group. And they've also got a 76, uh, SU-76 as well, uh, the uh, infantry gun there, mobile infantry gun. So quite a lot of armour, uh, but I think the German, German armour might be able to deal with it uh, at long range. Uh, certainly given the last couple of games of old group the German armour has been pretty good uh, but we'll see because they are now completely outnumbered you know it's literally what two four six seven tanks to two at this point so uh, you know they can afford to lose up to three uh, really oh, probably up to about well I don't know six six of them before uh, as long as they take out the German ones but we'll see how the game goes as I say what I'll do is I'll now do the deployments and we'll crack on from there. Okay, so the Soviets uh, did pretty well out of that. They rolled quite a lot of fives and sixes for their deployment, meant, meant they could put quite a few units on the tabletop already. They were able to put uh, one, two, three, four, five on, and they are. They got a platoon of infantry here, uh, aiming at that central point that they're wanting to consolidate on. They also got their T 3485s on. They brought on the T 3476s for Company B and also two platoons of Company B. They also were uh, drew up three combat patrols, so they had put one with Company B and they also put two over here with Company A to probe with that flank. But the attack really is going to be going in on this right flank of the Soviets, uh, probably against that main German ridge line over there. Germans, on the other hand, uh, they rolled quite a few ambush points, but their units are not really perfect for ambushing because they don't have any packs, uh, any, any anti-tank guns so I converted them into combat patrols instead so they were able to bring on all six of their combat patrols and they dotted them uh, one here, one here, one actually in the point where the Soviets are trying to consolidate and also one a bit further forward on this right flank and then a couple over here uh, by the hamlet and also just on that ridge uh, the, Soviet, uh, the Germans also rolled their interdiction roll as well. They got a 1, which means that it's going to be difficult for them to deploy onto their combat patrols. They're going to have to roll for it. Uh, but because they're facing Soviet artillery, they are actually interdicted for two turns because the Soviets get that extra 1 on top of their... When they're attacking, they get an, an, another interdiction point. So already the Germans are on the back foot. They're under fire. Oh, and one more thing is the, the Soviets caused casualties on the attackers as well, and the Germans have also lost a platoon. And I rolled for it, and it came out of their platoon, their their Company C. So their uh, their reserves are already down by a third of their men. So, as I say, the Germans are already under duress. Uh, this may be a quick battle, but we'll see. You never know. The tiger might might even things up a little bit, but we'll uh, we'll see how he how he plays out on the 
on the tabletop and we'll sort of start with the first turn. Uh, if you watch the other videos of our group you know this bit, this is where we decide what orders the different units have. I'm just going to roll it for this first one just to show you how it works in this game and then I will, I'll talk about it later but I won't do the rolls I'll, in front of the camera, I'll just do them off camera and tell you exactly how many orders each unit got, uh, each side got. So I'm starting with the Soviets, they're rolling nine dice to start with. Uh, I'm rolling red for them because they're the attackers. So let's just see what we've got here. Oh, this is not... Uh, oh, it's a bit of a mix. Right. First of all, we've got three ones. So that means they have one hesitant company. Uh, so I'm going to have to roll to see which one of those is. I'll, I'll work it out. It's either A or B because they're the ones on the table. And that means they're not going to be able to advance this turn, which is not great for them. So they've already bogged down. Then we have uh, four company orders. So that's just their four orders that we've got there. So I'll just put those with the Soviets so we remember. And then they've got two sixes. Now normally, uh, I was doing this wrong in previous videos, but normally a second-rate battalion only uh, has to convert the first six into a normal company order. So that becomes a five, basically. So that gives them another order, and then their six becomes a HQ order. So that takes them up to four. They started with three, and now they've got four HQ orders. So the Soviets have started with five orders, uh, and they've got one hesitant company. Let's see which company is hesitant. On a 1, 2, a 3, it's company A. Uh, on a 4, to a 6, it's company B. So let's just roll for that. 1, to 3, it's company A. Uh, that is probably the least worst of that situation that they wanted. So I'm just going to put that marker down. So we know there's a hesitant marker. That will just go with the company commander. They can't advance. Uh, that is the T-34-85s and one platoon. So at least their main strength can actually move. Uh, so the Germans, as defenders, let's see what they get. So they're rolling uh, blue dice because they're defending. So we have got uh, two ones. Two ones don't do anything, they just don't cause any orders, but they don't make any units hesitant or anything. A six is a HQ order, so that puts the Germans up to three. And then they, they have one, two, three, four, five, six actual orders, so let's take those four. Now people have talked about the orders and the tokens and things in, in uh, comments in other games that I've played. You could quite easily just use single figures for the order tokens, there's no difference. Uh, I'm not going to in this because uh, I just haven't set up for it, but you could quite easily just use those figures if you wanted to. Uh, the six, as I say, is a German uh, headquarters, so that puts them up to three against the Soviets four. So now what we're going to do is we're going to roll for the initiative. The Germans are adding three because they've got three on their HQ orders. The Soviets in red are adding four because they've got four on their HQ. So this then decides who goes first. So the Soviets have got uh, five and four is nine plus four. So they've got 13. The Germans, <laughs> double six uh, plus a three. So that gives them 15. So the Germans get to decide if they want to go first or second and they are going to go first because they want to get some units on the board and because they want to go first they also get an order token so they end up with one two three four five six seven orders in total against the Soviets five and the Soviets already have that hesitant unit and they're going second as well so although the Soviets had a great deployment uh, things seem to have started to bog down straight away. But let's see how we go, because the Germans might not even be able to deploy anything because they're still under, under interdiction anyway. But we'll see what happens. Okay, for the Germans' first orders is they are laying down artillery fire. So they're calling in one of their two artillery missions. They need to do it now, because if they, the Soviets get any closer, then they're probably just going to lose them. And also, they just want to try to smash up these tanks before they attack. So they can be spotted by their forward observer, they're calling in divisional artillery fire because they want to smash the hell out of these tanks if they do get the artillery fire. So we roll to see if they get anything first of all. First trade roll up is a five, six or less. It's the radio, sir. We still haven't been able to make contact. So they've used up two orders, but they haven't used up a fire mission. So <laughs> not a great start uh, for the German artillery, uh, but I'll just take that off, the aim point. 
Uh, they may be able to fire again next turn if these Soviets don't get further forward. But let's see what happens. Because the Germans are in a defensive position, they are just going to deploy their defences. They're not moving combat patrols or anything. But they are under Soviet interdiction. So on a 1 to a 3, uh, well, sorry, 4, 5, 6, they can't actually uh, deploy. So I'm going to work my way through each of these and we'll see which ones can. So the first one over here. Let's have a look at 3, so they can. Next one down here. A one they can as well. Uh, their third one here, they can. Uh, the fourth one, this is Company B on the side, they can as well, and they also have one more as well, which they're going to do on that hill. So let's just see if that can. Four, that one can't, but these four at least can. So I'll start putting those figures on the table right now. The Germans are deployed directly in this consolidation point that the Soviets are after and they are firing across at the Soviets over here. So they are rolling 4d6 because they've moved when they deployed and a spotting dice because the Soviets are in that scrub so they're in cover. So let's see, they need 4 plus on the spotting dice and then also 4 plus on each of the other dice to hit. So let's see, uh, we've got a 5 so they spotted the Soviets and they've landed 2 shots on them. So the Soviets are defending with two dice. They're defending on twos, uh, on fours or above. So let's have a look, see what happens with that. Uh, three and a one, no, that's uh, two shock already. So over to the Soviet side, uh, with the escape of the German artillery over here, these T-34s have moved forward. Three of them are going to fire at these Germans here in the trenches in the uh, position that they want to capture. And then the fourth one is gonna fire at the Germans up on the top of the hill on the right flank. They've also moved forward a couple of platoons as well, uh, and the combat patrol as well on the right flank. Their third, final order uh, they gave out to this unit here that was uh, on two shock, and they've rallied, and all they've done is managed to get down one shock. So they're down back down to one shock. The T-34s are firing. So we've got, uh, they're, they're normally rolling five dice, but they've moved, so that's minus two. However, they are at close range, so that's a plus one on their dice. Uh, and then they are also firing into trenches, so that's a minus one for uh, explosives. So that ends up with three dice with a spotting dice. So let's see what happens with the Germans. The first one, so he has spotted and has landed three hits on them. The Germans are saving on a four or above for this platoon. So let's see, so they failed one, so that's one suppression already on there. Then we go on to the second T-34, same again. Uh, so they have spotted them and they've landed two shots on those Germans. And the German save roll is, uh, they've saved one, they've not saved the other. So they're now uh, onto their second shock. And then our final T-34, firing his shots. So he's spotted and has landed two shots on the Germans. So they are defending again. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, they've got a 6 and a 2, so that's a save and a, and a not save. So they are suppressed, uh, but no further damage done to them. So they're, they're close to uh, to getting a KIA roll, but not yet. And then we'll do the fourth T-34 firing up the hill of those Germans on the top. He actually only rolls two dice because he's not at close range. So let's just see what happens. Five is he spotted them, but two threes is a miss. He needed four or above. So that ends the Soviets' turn. They did want to bring in artillery, but they don't have enough HQ points at this point. They need five, and they've only got four. So that ends the first turn. So I'll take up all the tokens, and then we'll move on to the next turn. So I've just rolled the orders dice. The Soviets ended up with six orders. Uh, they had three HQ orders which meant one converted into a company order, but the other two went onto their HQ orders, which then gave put them up to six. The Germans just rolled uh, company orders, so they've basically got nine. Uh, I think the Soviets rolled one, no, one, one. Nobody else did anything else, so quite a lot of orders floating about. The Germans, so I'll do the initiative. The Germans in blue are adding a three. The Soviets are adding a six. So let's see who takes the initiative. Uh, <laughs> That's uh, 12 for the Germans, 3 and 6 is 9 for the Soviets, so the Germans again are going to take the initiative, so they will get that extra order, so they ended up, now ended up with 10 orders instead of their 9. Now the first German move is to try again to get that artillery in, they are still going for divisional because there's still a lot of tanks there and they want to destroy them, so we 
Roll to see if we get anything. This is their first action. A three. Again, that's less than six. So it's still, uh, they've not been able to make contact. So this is not going great for the German defence from the guns' point of view. Uh, so let's see what they do with the rest of their orders. Uh, the first German non artillery order is to try to rally these. These are suppressed. So let's see, they're doing a full rally of 3d6. Need four or above to get rid of their uh, suppression. Uh, they've taken one shock off. Failed on two, so that's brought them down to two at least, two shock, uh, which is means they can fire, well they can't because they, they rallied, but they can fire in the Soviet turn. And then they're using two orders to try to bring in the companies here as well to deploy these combat patrols. So the first one over here, one, two or three they can. First one, no it can't, so they've lost an order, and the second one here, no, they can't either. And then they are also going to try to deploy their Tiger and their Panzer IV. So we'll see if we can deploy this Panzer IV first. One, two, or three. No. <laughs> and then finally, let's see if we can uh, deploy that Tiger. One, two, or three. No. So they've not been able to deploy anything. So they've literally used up a ton of orders there. Four orders have just disappeared. Uh, so then it's going to swap over to the Soviets' turn. All right, in their turn, the Soviets are going to try to call in artillery. Uh, they've got over five uh, command post uh, HQ orders, so they can actually bring artillery in because they're a second rate battalion, or at least they can try for it. So we're going to go for regimental. So let's roll the dice, see what we get. Uh, a 10, that's pretty good. That's medium battery fire mission. So then we have to see uh, what its actual accuracy is. Uh, let's have a look. It's not the same aim points as last turn. Uh, the spotter is not a commander or the recon, and it's uh, an endpoint is over 30. Uh, it's actually it's, it's within 40 inches, and their spotter is actually elevated, so it's okay. There's no issues there. So we just have to roll 2d6, giving us a 6. So that is harassing fire. And we said it was a medium battery. So we're rolling 7d6 for... Each target and a medium battery has a 5 inch burst radius and this is our aiming point so it's actually on this platoon, also on the Fu and also on the company commander as well. Uh, the Fu and the company commander are not in cover, the others are in trenches. So let's work our way through them. 4 plus are hits first of all, so let's see what happens. So we'll go with the company commander first of all. Uh, so we've got Two hits. Uh, he is saving with harassing fire. He's saving on a two or above. So he's taken no shock at all anyway. So that's good. And then we've got the foo. Same again. Four plus our hits. So we've got one, two, three hits on him. He is also saving on a two plus. So let's just see what happens. This is harassing fire. So he saved all of those. That's two threes and a two and a what and a two. So he saved those. Now those guys in the trenches, they start on seven dice, but however they minus two because they're in trenches. Uh, and I don't think there's any other anything else. That's all it is. So five dice on them. And same again. These are hit on four plus. Uh, they've hit every single one of those. So that's five dice. They are, however under harassing fire, so they're saving on a three or above. So let's see how many they save. They've saved two of them, so that's actually suppressed them, but hasn't caused any KIA. So at least they put their heads down for the time being. Okay, so the Soviets have given out a few orders. These have advanced into the next bit of scrub. Uh, they've also used up a couple of their HQ orders as well uh, to advance some of these combat patrols on the flanks. These are going to rally with 1d6 and then hopefully fire uh, at the Germans in cover over there. So we'll do our first rally first of all, if they can get rid of that shock. So let's have a look, a one, no they don't get rid of it, so they can either get rid of the shock or fire with shock on them. Uh, they're going to fire I think, and they're firing with six sections, uh, sorry six dice, two dice per section, minus one dice for the shock, and then also they're firing into trenches, so minus two dice. The Germans are in cover, so they're rolling a spotting dice. So let's just see what happens. Uh, first of all, they haven't spotted them, so the Germans are saving on a three or above. But they have landed two shots on those Germans, so let's see what happens to those. Need three or above to save. 
they've saved one, they haven't saved the other, so they are now suppressed. Now the T34s are also going to fire, so we're going to see what what power that gun has got, the T3485. 85 to 100 millimeter gun is rolling 5D6. Uh, they are in buildings or trenches, minus one on the firepower for the guns. Uh, the 75 mil is also a 76 mil, sorry, is also a 5D6 firepower. The Germans again need to be spotted, so let's just work these out. Uh, firing into trenches is minus 1D6 for AFVs for high explosive. Now, do they want to move? If they want to move, Later on this turn, and they're going to take off another 2d6. Uh, do you know what? For the T3485s, I'm going to fire those without moving them. Then I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with the T3476s after the, 30, the 85s have moved. You're allowed to do this. I've just put the order, order tokens down just to remind me who, who is actually moving and what they're doing. So these ones are going to stop still and fire at the Germans. So they're getting two shots from these. So it may be enough to do some KIA damage to them, let's see. Uh, so we've got a four, they've been spotted and they've landed two shots on those Germans. So the Germans are saving on a four or above this time. So they've saved one and one has failed. So one excess hit on their suppression means they do a KIA roll of a five or a six. Uh, one, no, so there's no effect, they're still suppressed. Now our second 85, so neither of these can move now because they decided not to. So we've got it spotted, but it's only landed one hit, one five there. So the Germans are saving on a four, five, or a six. Uh, they haven't saved, so that is another KIA roll, five or a six. No, they're not KIA'd again. So now I've got the choice really again. So I can fire with these, I could move them, or just fire them. And I think. It's going to be better just to fire them. But these are actually in close range, so they get an extra dice. So they're within 10 inch, the uh, 85s aren't. So three are going to fire at the Germans, the other one is going to fire up the hill at that platoon over there. So we'll do that one first of all. He's actually only rolling four dice because he's not a close range. So we'll get this one out of the way. Let's see what happens. He hasn't spotted them, but he has landed two shots on those Germans. They're saving on a three or above. Let's see what happens. They've saved both of those, so no effect. So then we start working our way through these three T-34s. First one, again, none of these are moving, so they spotted the first gem, but this might finish it all off, you know. Uh, so we've got five hits on the Germans, and they are saving on a four or above. So this is just from the first T-34. Uh, they've managed to save two of them, however, they failed one, so that means one uh, section is KIA straight away automatically so that's one off so then we've got a second T34 he's going to do the same thing so potentially if this one destroys the other two sections uh, the final T34 can actually move because he hasn't done anything yet but let's just see see what happens so they haven't spotted him anyway uh, and they've landed three shots on those Germans so let's see what happens they're saving on a three or above and they've saved two of them, but not one of them. So that's a KIA roll. Five or a six, and it kills one of the sections. No, it doesn't. They're still surviving. And then finally, the last T-34 is going to do the same thing. He's not moving. He's firing everything he's got at those Germans. He spotted them and missed two shots. So the Germans are saving on three dice. Four, fives, and sixes they're saving on. So they've saved two, failed one, so we roll that KIA dice again, five or six, no, it's not, it's still intact. So they've lost one section, uh, despite coming under fire from six tanks, uh, five tanks, and a section of Soviets. Right, so German regroup phase, the only thing that can regroup is these, rally these, so we're going to try to do that, four plus, and they've done it. Let's have a look, they've rallied one off, one shock off, so they've got that down to two instead of being suppressed. But that ends the second turn. Okay, I've rolled for the orders. Both of them got six each. The Soviets managed to get one uh, HQ order because they rolled two sixes, so one became automatically became a company order. The second one became the HQ order. The Germans actually rolled four uh, HQ orders, so they've gone up to six, and then the other one was converted into a company order. So the Germans are getting plus six on their blue dice. The Soviets are getting plus four for the initiative. So let's see what we get. 
So they've got six, so the Germans have got 12. The Soviets have got five, plus four is nine. So again, the Germans are going to take that initiative. So they now have got seven orders, uh, and they get to go first again. Right, the Germans are going to go for their artillery again. Uh, to see if they can get it this time. So uh, they're rolling their two dice. They are again going for divisional art uh, artillery if they can get it. So let's just see. Uh, a seven. Unfortunately that for them is the radios again. They're still un being unable to make contact. Uh, it's only the British and the US that get any artillery fire with that. So another two orders wasted but that's all they can do at this point. Right, I've got a couple of things to do here. The Germans have brought on their Tiger over here. And they've brought on the Panzer IV as well with an order. The Tiger has basically just stomped forward into the cornfields. Uh, but it is now being targeted by the two T-34-85s, which will be fire and reaction fire. We've also got this German section down the front. They are going to try to rally. So I'm going to do that first of all because they're suppressed. So we'll just get out of the way. Four or above. They've rallied. Uh, they've rallied one shock off, so they're down to two. Uh, not great for them, but uh, they are hanging on in there with grim determination. Then we've got the Soviets' uh, guns firing at the Germans. The German did a rapid move, so he can't fire, but the two, uh, let's say, the, the, the 84s can fire at it. Now, he has an armour of 11. They have a uh, an anti-tank strike of 9, so it's going to be a minus 2, uh, or a plus 2, actually, on the save roll for the Tiger, if they hit. First of all, it's, oh, they've also obscured as well because there's, there's some scrub and there's trees and things and, and he's in the field as well. So I'm going to call him obscured. So we're hitting. We've got to roll the uh, the dice as well to see if they actually hit. And so let's go for that. Uh, sorry, no, they've got, they need a 7 or above on the hit dice, which is the two red dice. And then also the spotting dice is a 4 or above. So let's have a look. They've spotted the tiger, the first one, uh, but a seven, that was a 6. He's missed, so we do the second T-34. Uh, so he hasn't spotted it, and he's also missed as well. So that was a good opportunity for them, and they've literally thrown it away. Okay, so we've got the T-34-85s are firing against the Tiger, the first one. Uh, I've not put the order down for the other one yet, because the Tiger, if he survives this, is going to take a shot back. So we need a spotting dice, and also we need a 7 or above to hit. So let's have a look. Spotting dice hasn't spotted it. But that's a double six on there. So that gives them, I think it's a plus one on their firepower. Yes, a 10 or above is critical hit. So it's a plus one on the gun firepower. So we have uh, the Soviets are firing uh, an eight powered uh, AT strike. So that becomes a nine against the Tiger's 11. So the Tiger actually gets a plus two on his save. No, sorry. A, uh, yes, a plus two, so it goes up to nine. So we roll the dice, add plus two to it, and this is what the effect is. And it wasn't spotted, so he's obscured. So we've got uh, six becomes an eight. Uh, if he's obscured, that's no effect. So basically, he's literally bounced off. Okay, so we're going to do the same with the second T-34. 85, that is. Well, actually, the Tiger is going to fire back, first of all. It's going to fire back using the... Uh, leftover order from the Germans turn so it is going to fire back so let's see they're not obscured so we don't need the spotting dice this time so we're just rolling the 2d6 seven or above and it's hit uh, that is a hit that's a 10 uh, sorry a nine uh, so this time it's an 11 versus the armor of eight so this is a minus three on the t34 save so let's see what happens uh, that's a an 11 minus three that drops it down to 8. It is spotted, so that T-34 takes one shock. And then our second T-34, he gets to shoot. Same again, firing at the Tiger is obscured. Uh, he hasn't spotted him. He's rolled a 5. He needed a 7 or above, so he's missed. OK, our next orders for the Soviets is... He's, I've given these two T-34s their final orders and also used up a HQ order on this one as well. They are now laying fire on these Germans. We've really got to clear this position to start moving forward and consolidate on it. So let's see what happens. They're firing at somebody in cover. Uh, we've already done the sums for this. So they've actually they've not spotted them. This is the first one. Not spotted it. And also they've only hit once. So the Germans get one save on that. On a three or above. They haven't saved it, so that's suppressed them. And then we've got our second T-34 firing again. 
So same again, so six is it spotted the Germans. And let's see how many hits we've got. One, two, three hits there. So the Germans are now saving on a three or above. Four or above, sorry. Uh, they've failed two, uh, but passed one. So two fails over a suppression is an automatic KIA. So that's another section off. And then we have our final T-34 firing. Same again at oh, those Germans. Let's just see what happens. Three, they haven't spotted them. However, he's landed two shots on them. The four and the six there. The Germans are saving on three or above. Uh, they've saved one. They've failed one. So that's an automatic... Well, it's a, it's a, a KIA roll. So a five or a six, and it's the final section has been taken off. Let's have a look. Six, yeah, it's destroyed that final section. So they've finally cleared the woods so they can actually start to move into there and then consolidate on that point which is what they've been waiting to do. Okay this command roll hasn't been good for the Germans, they roll 5-1 so that's a hesitant company they've got four uh, orders tokens otherwise they've already got six HQ orders at this point so they've got four we've got to find out which company is hesitant the Tiger is attached to B just for your interest uh, so let's see one to three is company A four to six company B so it's four to six, so that's Company B, so that's the one with the Tiger. And the Soviets, they got two more HQ orders. Uh, they had to give one over to their company order because they rolled three sixes. Uh, and now we have to roll off for our initiative. So the Soviets are getting a plus five, the Germans are getting a plus six. The Soviets really need to win this one, I think, at this point. Let's just see. Uh, they might not. No, they won't do. Uh, the Germans there have got... Uh, 10 and 6 is 16, the Soviets have got 9 and 5 is 14, so the Germans are going to take that extra order and the uh, initiative. So the first German move is they are going to try to call once again for that artillery, so let's see what happens. They roll their dice, a 7 is, uh, it's as 6 below, 7 becomes a 6, so again radios once again, they can't make contact. There's obviously a lot of jamming going on with the Soviets at this point. With the very few orders that the Germans have got, they've held a couple back. But they have brought forward the, T, uh, the Panzer IV, and now he's going to fire down on these T-34s over here. So it has a hitting power of uh, 9, I think it is. Let me just 100% check that, uh, if he does actually hit in the first place. Uh, yes, AT of 9 against a T-34s armour. Uh, 42 cent 6 is an armour of 7. Uh, no, it's not, sorry, that's it's AT power. Uh, no, it is, it's armour, it's 7. Uh, so it's 9 against 7. So we need a 7 or above to hit, however it's moved, so it's minus 1. So we're looking at a 8 or above to hit. Uh, double 4, that's no hit at all. So uh, at least they've got it into position so they can fire it when the Soviets fire back. OK, we've got a bit of firing here. Uh, the Soviets have basically used an order to move this section, uh, this platoon, sorry, into the consolidation point and capture it. They managed to rush across, so they've actually captured the consolidation point. So they can, and from next turn, can start consolidating that and getting units up those slopes as quick as possible. They've got two, T, uh, two of the 85 th T-34s firing at the Tiger, and they're going to give two orders out to two T-34s firing at the Panzer IV as well. And we'll see what happens with these two. Uh, they may give them some... Uh, command orders but the Germans if they survive the first round of firing are going to return fire they've only got two orders left so they're going to use those up so we'll start with the first T-34-85 firing uh, at an obscured target so it spotted it and a 9 is actually a hit on that Tiger however the Tiger has a plus 2 on its uh, its effect because it's 11, dam uh, 11 armour against T-34s uh, 85s uh, strike of 9, 100%, let me just check that, 100%, 85, yeah, strike of 9 against the Tiger's armour with 11, so it gets a plus 2 on its save, so that's a 5, 6, 7, and it was spotted, uh, it's actually taken 2 shock on it, which is not good for the Tiger, <laughs> uh, maybe they might be able to destroy it by shocking it. The Tiger will then use one of its orders to fire back, it's firing in the open, so it needs a 7 or above, it hasn't moved or anything. So a 7, it's just hit it. So this time, uh, it's the other way around. The T-34-85 has an armour of 8. 
against the, the Tiger Strike of 11, so it's a minus 3 on the T34. This is the front one here. 3 becomes a 2, uh, it is spotted, so that has knocked out T3485. Okay, that's uh, one round to the Tiger, however, we've got another T3485 over here firing. Uh, yeah, I think that Tiger just managed to hit. We'll, we'll let it off. I can't remember if I took a minus one off for this shock that is under, but we'll let it off, I think. Uh, so we've got the T34 uh, 85 firing again. Same again, it needs to spot the Tiger. It hasn't spotted it, and a six is a miss anyway. Uh, so we'll swap over to the T34 uh, 76ers. The, uh, the um, Panzer IV is, is not in a hold down position, it's on the top of this ridge, so we've got two firing. They need seven plus, they haven't moved, so the first one is firing. It misses, the Panzer IV can react to that, so it's going to on a seven or above, so that's missed as well. Then we've got our other T34 over here, let's see if that can hit. Uh, that's a double six, so that's a plus one on the firepower, so that's pretty good, so it has hit. With a plus one on the firepower, uh, we are looking at an 80 of 8 against the Panzer IV J's armour of 8. So it's a straight dice roll for the, two uh, for the Panzer IV. Uh, a 4, when it's spotted, that has also been knocked out. So 1 for 1 at this point. With our T-34 loss and also the uh, platoon loss as well in this turn, the Germans are now on a their first foobar and a command crisis. So we roll the dice for the Germans like we did uh, before. So let's see what we get. And so they are on a three. Now the Soviets, their first guess of the dice. If it's a mid three, the Germans reduce two of their HQ orders. And it is so the Germans reduce are now down to four HQ orders. Right, let's take a quick look at where we're actually at with this table at this point. So, the Soviets have yet to really kind of push past this point here. They've got, they've got a little bit further forward. They have captured their consolidation points, so they can start bringing on their third uh, company from next turn at least. They were threatened on the flank by the Panzer IV, but that was quickly dispatched by the two T-34s down here. And also they are now still threatened, because they've lost another T-34 by that Tiger over here. Uh, which is sitting in the cornfields. The Germans have got another unit on on this right flank, their right flank, and they have got a couple more uh, sitting up on that hill as well. They've still got a reserve uh, company that they can bring on, which hasn't hasn't done anything yet, but it's only two platoons strong. So the German line is pretty thin at this point, uh, and as I said, they've already got one foobar, so a few more losses, and they may be heading home. But let's just see what happens with the next turn. Right, so in that role, the Germans managed to get four, five company orders. They go on HQ order and they got two ones, which don't count to anything. At least they haven't got a hesitant unit, so they've only got five orders. Soviets roll three sixes, so that gives them two HQ orders, because one automatically converts into a, a company order. But they got taken up to six, so the other one converted into a company order as well. So they've ended up with seven company orders. One HQ order and a one, which does nothing. So let's roll their initiative. The Soviets are getting a plus six this time, the Germans are plus five. So let's see what we've got. The Germans have got 13 and the Soviets have got a 10. So again, the Germans are going to take that initiative because they, they've been doing so pretty well so far in the game. Right, the Germans' first two orders are to try to call in the artillery once again. Now, do they go for regimental or divisional? Uh, it's a tough one, it's a tough one, uh, there's more chance of them getting regimental fire, uh, but it's obviously always going to be a lot smaller, and they're really looking to take out these T-34s if they can. Um, they're going to go divisional, as before, so let's just see, and hopefully get a 12 with some Yabos coming in. So have a look, uh, a 6, a 6 is... They still haven't been able to make contact, so the Soviet counter-battery fire is obviously doing its job, and those poor Germans are getting starved of any kind of artillery support. Right, the first German field order is going to be ordering the Tiger, it's going to try and rally, so it needs a four or above to get rid of that. Uh, one of the shock, let's have a look, one, no, so it can either rally or it can fire. 
it's going to fire because there's a T-34 down there that's quite dangerous, they pointed at it. So we're firing at that with a minus one on the shock this time, so it needs an eight or above. The T-34 is not obscured. So have a look, six, so that's a miss, the Tiger has missed. T-34 is going to react, fire to that, firing at it in the uh, as an obscured vehicle, but it doesn't have any shock, so let's just see if it's spotted. It spotted it, and the seven has just hit it. So we have a T-34-85 strike power is a nine against the Tiger's 11. So the Tiger has actually got a plus two on its save. So let's roll that. Uh, four, uh, three, sorry, plus two is a five. Uh, and it is not obscured, it is damaged. So that's not good. Uh, these German armour are, are not really holding up very well. Okay, the first two orders for the Soviets. One more thing, I just rallied the shock off of this section, uh, this platoon up here on the top of the hill for the Germans, and the last thing they did in their turn. Uh, but this German, the Soviets are firing again, uh, or they're going to try to bring in their uh, regimental support, so they're rolling for that. So we've got an eight, so it's a medium battery fire mission, uh, so it's actually got in, which is pretty good. And uh, the we run roll for the accuracy. So let's have a look. It is a five, so that's harassing fire. So the Germans are, are going to uh, defend against that better. And they are with a with a medium battery. They're rolling seven d six. So let's do this first of all. So we see how many hits we get on each of these targets, and it's the same targets as before. Uh, well, it's the same aim, aim point as last turn, so they should have got a plus one on the accuracy, but I didn't roll enough to get a zero in. So let's roll first of all for the uh, the commander. So that's one, two, three hits. So he's saving on a two or above because it's harassing fire, not zeroed in. He saved all of them, uh, but has taken one shock. He doesn't hold shock, but if he fails a morale test, he immediately becomes suppressed. So any more hits on him would be KIA rolls. But let's have a look at the Foo. And that has taken, oh, that's taken seven hits. Saving those on a uh, two or above, and he saved every single one of them. Good for him. Now the guys in the trenches, they removed two because they're in defences, so let's see what happens to them. They've taken three hits, they're saving on a three or above because it's harassing fire, and they've failed one, so they take one shock. So, not particularly effective artillery fire there in this game. So we've got our T-34-85 firing again at that Tiger, which is already damaged. Uh, he will return fire if he survives, of course. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, it has been spotted, but a six means it hasn't been hit. It can return fire, so it is going to. Uh, it is firing a minus one because it's got two shock on it, and it's also damaged, so that's minus two. So it is hitting on a nine or above. And it has hit. Uh, so this one, again, is a minus three on the uh, save roll for that Soviet tank. So let's see what happens. Uh, that's a ten, minus three is spotted that gives it two shock. Okay the Soviets done quite a bit here they've pushed forward the T-34s using their final two orders and two orders from the HQ uh, to rapid move so they can't fire but they've rapid moved forward to get around the side of that, t uh, that Tiger so hopefully they'll be able to take a shot at it next turn and hit it in its weak flank. They've also consolidated on the point they needed to as well here, so they've brought in their third company commander and two uh, combat patrols, which they will probably deploy on next turn. So, all to play for at the moment. Uh, it still could go any way. That Tiger has still put plenty of teeth on it, but that ends that turn. Right, so these are the rolls. Uh, the Germans got two ones, as did the Soviets actually, so that's two of their orders wasted. The Germans are down onto eight dice because of that foobar, so and they managed to pick up six uh, company orders. They got no HQ orders. Soviets got one HQ order and six company orders, so both are the same at the moment. However, the German both are on five for their HQ orders, so let's see, it's going to be a straight roll off. 
let's see who gets the initiative and yet again it's the Germans <laughs> so five against four so the Germans are yet again going to take that initiative so opening move the Tiger is going to try to reduce that shock so four five six uh, no it doesn't so it is going to fire at the T3485 over here and it is firing with a minus two because it is damaged and shocked so it's firing on a nine or above and is a hit and that's a miss so the T34 is going to return fire so I'll just stick that down there for a second and then uh, he's obscured again because the Tiger is obscured but he hasn't spotted him however a nine is a hit on that Tiger and we've got nine strike against eleven armor so it's a plus two for the Tiger's defense so that's 10, 11, 12, so that's no effect. Right, the Germans decided they're going to fire their battalion mortars at this point here. So we just read the road, read to roll to see what the accuracy is. It is a 10, so that's actually a critical hit. So that's pretty good. So that gives them an extra dice on the hits. Uh, I've just measured it. It's a 4-inch radius, so it will hit everything in there. So we've got a platoon, commander and also two combat patrols. So they're going to try to destroy them if they can. So they're rolling 66 hits against each of those because it's five normally for the, for the mortars. And then uh, plus that plus one because they're zeroed in. Uh, they are uh, they're saving on a three or above, sorry, a four or above for the regular and a two or above for the commander. So we'll do the, let's do the hits against the commander first of all. So we've hit uh, four hits and then he saves on a two or above so he saved every one of those then we've got our platoon so this is hitting again on the four or above so that's hit uh, four hits on that so they're saving on a four or above and they've saved two of them failed two so that gives them two shock I don't really care <laughs> to be honest, uh, and then six hits against both of those combat patrols. So the front one, so let's see, we've got one, two, three, four hits. So these are saving on a four or above, and these are removed as soon as they take any shock. So they've taken well, first one's taken one shock, so that's off, and then the second one, this is a lot better than what they've had so far. The second one has hit on four hits. So four saves, let's have a look. And it's saved all of them apart from one. So where it was required, the Germans have wiped out those combat patrols. So the Soviets can't actually deploy in there this turn. All right, we're firing with this T-34 for the Soviets first action at the Tiger, of course. So he needs to see if we can see it. Four, it has spotted it. And a seven, uh, minus one because it is, uh, because it's, got shock is a six is a miss so the tiger gets to return fire it is also shocked so it is firing on a uh, eight or above as well so i need damaged a nine or above so let's see if it does uh, a 10 so it's actually hit that t34 uh, the t34 has a uh, minus three on its save so he spotted the minus three four minus three is a one so that's another t34 knocked out that Tiger is biting at the moment. So now the Soviets are going to give two orders to these T-34s over here. And these are firing at the Tiger's side. So its armour is now 8 instead of uh, 11. But their gun power is 7. So it's going to be a minus 1 for the... Sorry, a plus 1 for the, the save roll anyway. But let's see if they can spot and hit it. The first one. They haven't moved. Uh, God, no. That's not even spotted it. And it hasn't hit either. That was a 5. So the second one. They need to get rid of this tiger if they're going to be doing any more progression, really. Uh, the second one, he hasn't spotted it, but he has hit it. So, as we said, the uh, tiger gets a plus two on its save and it's obscured. So that's a nine in total. So no effect. So it just bounces off. So the other two T-34s are now pushed around that wood. And they are also firing the tiger in its side. So the first one. Uh, they get a minus one because they've moved, so they need eights and above. So the first one uh, has not spotted it, so it's still obscured, but it has scored a ten, so it's actually hit that tiger. So this is the same again. It's a minus uh, one, uh, sorry, a plus one for the tiger's 
save. So that's a six becomes a seven uh, and it's obscured. So that's caused one shock. So that's actually suppressed the tiger. One more shock and it will damage it and then that will be taken out. So fingers crossed for the second T34. One, he hasn't spotted it and a five is a miss. Uh, could this be the end of that T-34 platoon? Who knows? The final Soviet turn is they've used up HQ orders. They've dropped right down to two now, but this is desperate. And they've deployed three combat patrols from Company C. So they can hopefully deploy onto those next turn uh, and then start to attack these positions. That's their plan, but that ends that turn. And still not sure who's got the upper hand at this point. Right, the next turn, and we've had the Soviet orders. They've got seven uh, and one HQ order, so they've gone up to three HQ. And the Germans have also got seven, and they got three HQ orders, but they were already on five, so that's gone up to six. So seven versus seven. But let's have a look at the initiative. Soviets get a plus three, the Germans are getting a plus six. So let's see what we get. The Soviets have got five, six, seven, eight. The Germans have got 12 so yet again, the Germans are going to take that initiative. So they get an extra order, gives them eight instead. First German action is they're going to bring those mortars back into action again, uh, dropping on the same target. So they get a plus one for the accuracy. Let's just roll for that accuracy. It is a, oh, that's a nine. Uh, that's not critical hit, but it is zeroed in. Uh, so that's pretty good. So it means that they're saving on a four or above, not a three or above. And they've got 5d6 hits, or 5d6 firepower against the Soviets in that wood. So we'll just work our way through them. So first of all, the company commander, let's have a look. He has taken one hit, so they need four or above. So let's do his save. His save is then going to be uh, a two or above, because he's a company commander. One, no, so he's taken a shock. Uh, well, actually, he's taken a suppression because they can't be shocked company commanders, so that's not good. Then we've got the combat patrol, so that is we're getting hit on a four, five, six, so that's three hits. Uh, let's see what happens to that. That saves on a three or above, sorry, four or above. He saved all of those, so that's good. It's not removed this time, for the, it's good for the Soviets. And then we've got a hit on that platoon. So that has hit one, two of them, and they are saving on a four or above. And they've already got two shocks, so they've taken another shock, so they are also suppressed as well. So they're taking a battering in that woodland, if nothing else. So the tiger is just going to try to rally off as much shock as possible. If it rallied off one shock, it would still have two shock on it, because he's suppressed, he would go down to a two, and then uh, it still wouldn't be able to fire at these T-34s because they're not within close range. So I'm going to have to roll all three, and then hopefully it's going to survive. And three is, oh, that means that it withdraws, in fact. So that's not good. So we roll 3d6 to see how far it falls back. It has fallen back 10 inches. So that's probably going to take it into these buildings back here. Which is probably about right at this point. The thing is absolutely damaged and suppressed as well. So that's not a good turn up for the books. Our next German order is for these guys here. These are going to fire at the T-34 in the flank. So they, uh, first of all, actually they're going to try and rally. Uh, so we'll do that. Then they're going to fire an anti-tank gun. So they've got six, so they've rallied off that shock. So that's good. And then they can fire down at the T-34 with their integral. This has got a strike of five against the side armour of the T-34 of 5. So they need to hit it on a 7 or above. Uh, an 8, so that is a hit. So it's just a straight dice roll and see what happens to that T-34. It is spotted. That's an 11. That doesn't do anything. 9 or above does nothing, so it bounces off. But they did have a go at it. Our next German order is for this platoon to fire at that combat patrol in front of it. So it needs four, five, sixes to hit. Uh, so it's hit on 2. But the combat patrol, because it is considered obscured, it is saving on a three or above. But just one shock will get rid of it. But let's have a look. Six and a two, so it's actually been got rid of. All right, the Soviets have tried their best to push forward in the centre here. Uh, these guys, they tried to rally them, but they failed. So they've they've fallen back. Uh, they've moved forward this company over here, ever so slightly. Uh, they've deployed a company here. They've deployed the combat engineers here as well uh, with the flamethrower, hopefully to tackle this trench at the top. 
I'd forgotten before that you can actually give an order to all four of those tanks and they can operate. Uh, so I was using up a lot of orders. Uh, so I've given an order to the tanks and they are going to fire at this. These are going to fire at these. These are also going to fire at these as well. So we're going to try and clear these trenches as much as possible. The Germans also moved their uh, company commander back behind the hill as well. So he's out of line of sight. Uh, but this is basically where the, a lot of the fighting is happening. Also on the Soviet left, uh, right flank, they've moved, they de uh, deployed another platoon and have moved forward a section as uh, a platoon as well. So we're going to start with these guys here in the open. Now they are, they're starting with a six dice. Uh, they're going to need a spotting dice as well. Uh, I'll help if I get the right coloured dice. So we've got uh, the blue spotting dice and then the red uh, firing dice. However, they're firing at uh, they've moved because they deployed and also they're firing at trenches so it's a minus two. So they're down to two dice with a spotting dice. don't think there's going to be a great deal of damage from these but we've got the T-34s as well. So let's just see what happens. A two is they haven't spotted them but they have landed two shots. The Germans are saving on three and above. Two ones, so that's two shocks. So despite me saying saying all that, <laughs> uh, right, then we'll move on to the next Soviet platoon. They are firing at the same target. So let's have a look. Uh, so that's a hit, a spot, and a hit, and a miss. So let's see, the Germans are saving now on a four or above. They uh, have saved that, so they're okay. They can actually fire back at the Soviets down there. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do that before before I forget. So they would be normally rolling six dice, but uh, they are shocked, so they're down to five, and the Soviets are in cover. So let's just see what they do. They've spotted them, and they've also landed four shots on them as well. So the Soviets are saving on a four or above there, and they've saved two, and they've taken two shock as well. So I'll just get that on. That was that platoon there. So that's the infantry firing, so they've at least caused two shock on the Germans. So now we're going on to the T-34s. They haven't moved. They're firing 5d6, plus they need that spotting dice. They're firing at trenches, so it's minus one. Uh, I don't think they're at close range. Let's just measure it. If they're at 10 inch or less, they are. Well, actually, yes, they are. They're all close range. So it goes back up to five, five dice. So let's have a look again. Let's roll the proper dice, proper color dice. So the first one, the six is spotted and has caused three hits. So how many how much damage does he do? Uh, the Germans have saved two but have failed one on their morale, so that's suppressed them. The second T-34 now, he has they're not moved, he's spotted them and caused two hits. So the Germans are saving on two of those. Let's have a look. Saving on four, five, six, that's a five and a six, so they have. The third T-34 uh, has not spotted them and has landed two shots. So they're saving on a three or above. So have a look. That's a four and a six. Yep. And then the final T-34, if they can actually do anything, let's have a look. They've spotted them and actually landed three shots this time. So the Germans are saving on a four, five or a six for this. So let's see. We've got five and a four and a two. So they've taken one. Uh, excess shock, so that's a KIA roll, five or a six, and then one of their sections has gone. Five or six, yes, one of their sections has gone. That has taken them up to, uh, they are now on five losses, including that Panzer IV, so they're just over the top of one full bar, they've already got one full bar, so uh, the Soviets still need to hammer away at them at this point. So these are the orders for the turn. The Germans uh, rolled six. They had a six, but they've already got six HQ orders. So that's uh, just got turned into a, a uh, company order. Two ones. Uh, so they've got six in total. The Soviets, they rolled a one, six on its own, which doesn't convert into a company order. If they had two, then one of them would have done. They've got two ones. So they've got six company orders and one HQ order. So that takes them up to three against the Germans, six. So let's roll for that initiative. And the Soviets this time have got 12, the Germans this time have got 7, 13, so they've just beat them again, uh, and they are yet again going to take that initiative. Right, we've got quite a bit of German firing going on, I'm going to do it for all from here. We've got the battalion mortars, they're firing at that same target, so 2d6 plus 1, 
because they're firing at the same thing. That's an eight, so that's zeroed in, uh, but it's not uh, no critical hits. So five d six against the two targets that are in there. So we've got the uh, company commander first of all. Let's see how many hits on him. Uh, there are one, two, three hits on him. He is saving on a two or above though. See what happens. A two, five, and a six. So he's fine. And then the other hit is going to be on uh, 5d6 on the uh, platoon at the front. And that has taken one hit. So that again, saving on a four, five, or a six. Four is saved, so no effect. The Germans have also rallied up here. Uh, they didn't do anything else, they rolled three dice for the rally. They've also rallied the Tiger as well, and they've, they've brought them down to one shock at least on both of these now. They have also then firing with these, this section into the, sorry, this platoon into the platoon in the woods. So they need a target, uh, a, a spotting dice. So they haven't spotted them, but they've hit uh, with four dice. So the Soviets are saving on a three or above. And they've saved two, but failed two. So they were on two, so that's taken to a suppression, and then a KIA roll. So we'll do that, five or a six. Five, so they've lost a section. That's the Soviets on their third loss now, unfortunately for them. And our final bit of German firing for their turn is they are firing from this trench over here, down on this uh, engineer platoon down here. So they are obscured because they're behind that scrub. So they've spotted them but they've only landed two shots on them. So let's roll for those, see what happens. Uh, four, five, six is their save. So two, three, so that's given them two shock. Okay, Soviets turn to fire over here. They've reduced their shock, so they've rallied uh, with the three dice, they can't do anything else. But this unit has moved forward, this platoon, and he's firing at the Germans in the building. So they need to spot, but they're also uh, minus They've moved and also they are firing into a built up area. So let's have a look. They have spotted and they've landed two shots. So, what happens with those? The Germans have not saved either of them. So, that's two shock on those Germans straight away. Those Germans are going to react to fire straight back at those Soviets. So, let's see, the Soviets are obscured. They haven't spotted them. And they've only landed two shots. So, the Soviets are saving on a three or above. And they've saved both of them. So, no effect. Then in the centre, we've got the T-34s and this section here, they tried to rally, they only roll one dice and they failed, so they can either rally off shock or they can fire. They're going to fire at these Germans up here, so they haven't spotted them, uh, uh, but they've hit one. So the Germans are saving on a three or above. A one, they haven't saved, so that's taken them up to two shock. Then we've got the T-34s firing, so these are firing 5d6 minus one, plus one because of the short range and our trenches, but the Germans are obscured. So the first one hasn't seen them, but has landed two shots. So the Germans are saving on a three or above. Let's see, they've saved one and taken one, so they are now suppressed. Then we have the second T-34, and we've been joined by another Tiger, who's just walking around as though she owns a place. Uh, so they spotted one and then we have four hits they spotted uh, they spotted the germans and they've taken four hits so the germans are saving on four five or a six and they've saved three of them but not one so that's a kia roll five or a six and no that's they've they're okay the third t34 same again has spotted and has also landed three shots on those germans as well so let's see how many how much casualties they do? They've oh, they've taken two, so that's automatic uh, loss of another section. Something that I always forget to do is do the company route test. When you reduce down to one section, you have to do a morale test. So the Germans here have to do this morale test. Need a four or above, and they pass and they carry on. Otherwise, they're off and they're counted again as another casualty. So let's have a look. Uh, two, no, they are routed. They're off. So the final T thirty four didn't need to fire. However. It can fire something else because it hasn't done anything yet. So I'm going to get it to fire up the hill at the other Germans. It's going to be exactly the same. Minus one dice because it's not a close range. So let's just see while I'm set up here. So a four is they've seen the Germans. They've landed two shots on them. And then they get uh, two saves. A four and a two. So they've taken one shock. 
And our final Soviet firing is these two platoons are firing at the platoon on the hill. So first one, they're down to three dice because they moved. Uh, so they've hit four, but they haven't spotted the Germans. So let's just see what those results are. A, they've failed two, but they've saved one. They've already got one shock from that tank, so they are now suppressed. And then we've got the other section firing the same, so the platoon firing the same. They can't return fire now, unfortunately for the Germans. They haven't spotted them, and they've only landed one hit. The Germans are saving on a three or above. Four, they've saved. However, they are suppressed, and they're literally ready now to be attacked uh, in close assault. Right, let's take a look at where we are game-wise at this point. Now, the Soviets are really pushing in this centre. They've got that consolidation point. They've managed to deploy a couple of units. They've got the combat engineers forward. Uh, they've cleared the top of that hill with the use of the T-34s. They've also damaged that Tiger and sent it packing as well. So, although it's not destroyed, it is uh, largely toothless at this point until it can uh, rally again. They are pushing forward as I say in the centre. They are now also pushing forward on their uh, right flank here against this German outpost basically on the top of this hill. Now I'm going to say if they can capture these two hills I think it's pretty much game over. They've broken the German line on this line. So we'll have to see what happens in the next phase and uh, well, in the next turn and see if they can actually push through. So I've done the command rolls. Both sides have taken, uh, have got eight orders in total. The Germans got their HQ order, but they've already got six, so that's basically taken them uh, beyond. So it's going to become a, a company order, and the Soviets rolled one single one, uh, but they so they got eight, eight against eight. So we're now rolling for initiative. The Germans are on a plus six. The Soviets are on a plus three. So let's see. So the Germans have got ten. This time the Soviets have got. Uh, 7 plus 3 is 10 and on a if you go on a draw then whoever had the initiative last turn the Germans get the initiative but they don't get that extra order so the Germans have got the initiative but not that extra order all right the Germans first of all they did a rapid deploy and they brought on two sections of their third well the only two sections of their third uh, company and one of those managed to get into those trenches that were just being cleared out so that's slightly annoying for the Soviets. They also rallied off shock on the Tiger and then it has moved forward and it's now going to take a shot at the T-34s. These over here these try to rally but they failed their rally so they can only fire or rally. They're going to fire at the Soviets or coming across the hill over there. So we'll see what happens. We'll start with the Tiger first of all. It is moving and firing, so that's a minus one for it. It's not obscured, so let's just see what we get. Uh, a seven, minus one is a six, so it's actually missed. So the Soviets T-34 platoon can fire back in all their glory, but I'm only going to allow two of them because there's two behind there. So they're going to fire back at the Tiger. Let's just shift those turrets so we're not firing at. Not likely they will destroy it, but they may cause enough shock for it to... Uh, to, to destroy to, to, to damage it again. If it gets damaged again, it's out. So let's have a look. Seven or above. First one has missed. The second one has hit. So the tiger is taking damage with a saving roll with a plus four on it, and it's spotted. Uh, so that's a three plus four is a seven. So that's actually caused two shock on that tiger. So that's not too bad to be honest firing at the front of a Tiger with a T-34. And on the German left flank, unfortunately for them, I tried to rally this uh, suppressed unit and they, they, did, they failed. So they basically, they've run back and they've, they're literally on the board edge. Had they fallen off the board edge, that would have been another foobar uh, for the Germans. But uh, let's see if the Soviets can at least take those trenches this turn anyway. And we've got that other bit of German firing from this platoon at the platoon in the woods there. Uh, they are obscured. They are shocked, so they're down by one dice. So let's have a look. We've they've not spotted them, but they have landed two shots on them. So the Soviets are saving on a four or a three or above. Uh, two sixes, they're okay. Then the Germans are firing their mortar again. They've kind of abandoned the artillery at this point. A three is nothing, and also the uh, mortar is actually out of ammunition, so it needs to have an order to uh, get ammunition to it. So that's not good for them. But that's the Germans' turnover. Okay, I've just laid out the orders for the Soviets. 
First of all, this platoon piled up the hill, they've captured the trenches, they are now going to fire down on the retreating German uh, platoon over here in this corner, try to get them off the table. This uh, platoon has piled into the German platoon in their flank and will uh, conduct a close assault. This platoon has reduced their shock, uh, but they're not firing because that's all they could do. They roll for their shock, uh, their morale, and they unfortunately they didn't pass it, so they decided to take one morale off anyway, one uh, one shock off. The T-34s, two are firing at the Tiger. These two are going to be firing up at the Germans up here on the hill. These have also reduced their shock, and again, they couldn't do anything else either. They either rallied and they got rid of their shock, but this unit over here, this platoon has moved forward and they will be firing at the Germans in the fence. And they've also moved forward a uh, combat patrol here. The one final thing they did as well is rally the unit at the very back, and that is all of their orders. So I'll take you through all the firing and we'll see what happens. So I'm starting here with these Soviets. They're firing with 4d6 at the Germans who are already suppressed. Uh, so let's just see what happens. They have, oh, they've hit one. <laughs> That's not great. The Germans are, uh, are suppressed, so they're on a three or above. Keep forgetting to do that. One. They've taken one hit extra, so it's a KIA roll, five or six. And no, it's nothing. Uh, they survived it. Then we have our close assault here with these guys. So it's six versus six. So I'll roll each of these separately. I'll roll the Soviets first of all in red. We'll see what every hit here on a four or above causes shock. So it's pretty brutal. So let's see, we've got one, two, three shock on them. So that's suppressed the Germans straight away. Uh, so I'll just put my marker down there so we remember. Uh, so that's suppressed. They fight back. Same again, four, five, six. And they have actually killed, wow, uh, five shock. So that is the, the Soviets suppressed and an automatic KIA on one of their sections. Uh, so the winner gets to rally 1d6 so that's the Germans they don't rally unfortunately so they're still suppressed attackers withdraw oh and they withdraw oh 15 inch <laughs> that's given them quite a bloody nose so they're miles away now and with that section being killed we just had our first Soviet foobar so that's not good so they've got a command crisis roll so they roll a six see what the Germans get a 1, no, their second chance. A 4, no. So the Soviets don't lose any HQ points at least. Okay, now we're moving on. So these guys can't fire because they just rallied. But we have got the T-34s and they're going to fire at the uh, troops in the uh, trenches. Firing at close range. They haven't moved. So I'm going to do two of those first of all. See if they spot them. They have spotted them. And they have, with the first T-34s, landed one hit. So let's see what that is. Uh, he's saved it. The second T-34 hasn't spotted, but has landed three hits. So let's see what those do. And the Germans have saved uh, one of them. Uh, sorry, they failed one of them, so they've taken one shock. Then I'll continue over here with these Soviets. They are going to fire at the Germans behind the fence. They're obscured, and the, Ger the Soviets have also moved. So we're looking at a... Uh, re-roll that because it was just cocked so they have spotted them and they've also landed three shots on those Germans who are already on two shock let's see so four five sixes and they've saved uh, they failed two so that is a suppression and one KIA roll so a five or a six six so that's another German KIA is that their second foobar let's have a look one two three four five six seven Eight. Yes, the Germans are on a second foobar now, so they have a command roll crisis. So let's just see if they do it. So what they they've rolled a five, Soviets a one, and then a two. So no, they don't remove any HQ points, but they are on their second foobar. So we're now onto our tank duel. So we've got two T-34s firing the Tiger. So they need a seven or above to hit first one. Uh, that's a six, so that's a miss. The second one. Is a four, so that is also a miss. The tiger can fire back, so it's going to use an order to fire back. Uh, it's a minus two though because he's got shock and damaged, so it needs he's going to need a nine or above to hit. Uh, that's a six, so no, that's a miss anyway. And that ends that turn, I think. Right, with this next com, uh, this next command roll, the Soviets have got two 
HQ points, putting them up to five against the Germans six. The Germans uh, have got, uh, they've taken seven uh, co company orders. They're down to seven dice because they're on two foo bars. The Soviets are down to eight dice because they're on one foo bar. And they've taken five company orders. So let's do our roll for the initiative. Germans plus, uh, plus six, Soviets plus five. So let's have a look. The Germans are on six, that's 12. This time the Soviets are on seven. So that is also 12. So you know who wins. It's the Germans because they got initiative last turn. So they got initiative again this turn, but they don't get that extra order. Right, we've got some firing here from the Tiger and the Germans here. What I've done is I've done a lot of rallying for the Germans. They basically, pretty much everybody has rallied or at least rallied some shock off. The only ones that can fire though is this platoon here and the Tiger itself. So we're going to fire with the Tiger first at the T-34. Let's have a look. That's a 9, that's a hit from the Tiger. And that's a minus 4 on the T-34. So let's see what happens to it. Uh, 5, 6, minus 4 is a 4 or less. So that's taken out a T-34. That doesn't cause a foobar just yet. Uh, they still need another 3 kills before they get another foobar. Uh, however, the Soviets are going to return fire with that front T-34 at the Tiger. So let's see what happens. Double one, that's a miss. And then we've got the section up here. These are firing down at the Soviets as they advance over that open ground. So they're just firing on 66. Four plus to hit. And they've hit with one, two, three. Uh, the Soviets are in the open spotted so they're saving on a four or above so one well, let's see what we've got there we've got one uh, one shock and two saves okay the soviets have gone in for the assault uh, here and here uh, both of these they are trying to win here because they really need uh, to get um, to get in on, on and, and kill as many germans as possible at this point one thing I was doing that I'd forgotten is to fire. <laughs> so I'm going to do that, first of all, for the uh, units here. First of all, firing at the Germans before they go in. They're assault engineers as well, so they actually ignore their shock. So they've hit the Germans with two, and the Germans have saved neither of those. So that has suppressed them and also done a KIA roll, five or a six. Nope, uh, they're not KIA, but they are suppressed. So that's going to take... I think it's two off their dice. Let me just check. No, they're just rolling one dice per section. So they're only rolling three against the Soviets six because they're ignoring their um, their 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 morale uh, because they're assault engineers. So the Germans have hit one. So that's one shock on the Soviets. The Soviets, meanwhile, have hit, oh dear, uh, five. So that is... One, two kills, and one KIA roll. So let's have a look. Not KIA, no, they haven't killed, but they've killed two of those sections. Uh, uh, they have also taken one shock as well. The Germans then have to do a morale test. Actually, they, they fall back, so they might actually fall back off the table. Let's have a look. They fall back uh, eight, nine inches see how far away they are they are just on that table edge so I'm just going to count them as I'm just being on however they are also the last section there so they need to do a morale roll anyway four plus and they pass it four they have passed it so they're still there the Soviets get to rally four plus yes they passed it so they're by down to one so that's pretty good for them we've got a similar thing going on over here uh, however, this is just a straight. Uh, the Soviets again are going to be firing at the Germans as they come in. Uh, the Germans don't have the orders to do it, unfortunately, but they are going to. So this, they've hit three on those Germans, and the Germans have failed two of them. So they are on two shock. So that minus is one dice for the Germans in their defence. So the Germans are rolling five dice against the Soviet six. So let's have a look at the Germans. Uh, they've caused one shock on the Soviets. Meanwhile, the Soviets have caused... Let's have a look. Uh, they've just caused one shock as well on the Germans. Uh, so, the Germans are suppressed. The Soviets take one shock. 
So I believe, I'm not sure what happens with a draw, uh, the defender holds, so the Soviets are pushed back 3d6, let's have a look real far, so that's 11 back, so back over to the front of that hill, and the Germans get to rally as well, so let's just quickly do that. And yes, they pass, so they're down onto two shock now instead of uh, being suppressed. Next up is the Soviet T 34s. Two of them are firing at the Germans in those trenches again. So this is our dice roll. Uh, he hasn't spotted, but they've landed five shots on those Germans. They need to kill two sections, uh, and the Soviets have won. Let's just have a look. Uh, the Germans have failed two of those, so that's not suppressed them, but given them two shock. So two shock on those Germans. Then we have that second T-34 firing as well. Uh, he hasn't spotted them, but he has landed three shots on there, so let's roll for those. Germans are saving on a three or above. Saved two of them, but not one of them, so they are suppressed. Then we have that T-34 firing at the, sure, the, the Tiger. So let's have a look. Seven plus, double six, that's a hit, so that's a plus one on there. Uh, their firepower, so it's a minus three on the uh, saving roll for the Tiger. So let's just see what we get for that. Uh, four and two is, uh, sorry, it's a plus three. Four and two is six, plus three is nine, so no effect, it's bounced off. Over on this side, the Soviets deployed this platoon, then they were going to fire these, then this platoon charged in. So I've kind of uh, microscoped it all into one thing. So we're firing with these, these deployed using a HQ token. So let's have a look. They have spotted the Germans and they've landed three shots on them. So the Germans are saving on a four, five or a six. They've already got one shock. Uh, they failed two, so that's actually suppressed them. So this is good for the attack to go in. So now the Germans are defending on 2d6. On this, sorry, one moment. The Soviets are attacked shooting before they go in. Uh, so they're rolling 3d6 to fire first. Uh, they need that spotting dice as well, I'd forgotten. Uh, six they spotted, that was a miss. This one, that was a two, I think. So that's a six and a six. So they've hit one and spotted one. The Germans take uh, one morale test. One failed it, so that means it's a KIA roll. And nope, they're not KIA, so they're still standing. So the Germans are rolling 2d6 because they're suppressed. And neither of those have scored hits. Now the Soviets are... They're starting with six, they have shock, so that's down by one, and then minus two because they're attacking into buildings, but they need four, fives, and sixes. They've hit two, uh, there's no rolls, so that's an automatic kill on the Germans. So that's another one, there's literally one more section needs to be wiped out now, and the Germans and the Soviets have won. These Germans now are going to retreat. So let's see what happens with that. They retreat 11 inches. Do you know that I might take them off the table? Oh, they are just right on that very, very, very edge of the table. I'm going to allow them that. Just going to allow them that. <laughs> uh, so close. So the, the Soviets then get to uh, rally, but it doesn't work. So they stay at one shock. Right, well, this is an interesting turn up for the books. The Germans have rolled four orders, but they've got a hesitant unit. The Soviets have rolled five orders, but they've also got a hesitant unit as well. So we've got to see which is which. Both of them have got their full platoons on, uh, full companies on now. So the uh, Germans, one to two is company A, uh, three to four, company B, five to six, company C. So let's just see which it is. It is one to two, so it's company A. So it's the ones on the very left flank who are almost... Uh, taken off the board anyway. Soviets, let's see which one theirs is. Same again. Uh, company C, so same again. That's the ones in the centre. So they were the ones that were doing most of the fighting just now. Uh, so that's not good for them, but uh, uh, it is what it is. So let's see who gets the initiative this turn. So the Soviets are on three, the Germans are on six. So the Soviets have got 12, the Germans have got 14. So the Germans, yet again, are going to take that initiative. 
Right, the Germans are basically spending all their orders on rallying everything, simply because if they don't, uh, there's the first thing that gets destroyed and it's game over. However, it's quite a bit of a, a knife edge because if they don't rally, they fall back immediately and they will then, uh, they'll, they'll count towards the losses anyway, so their food bars will go up. So it's a bit of a gamble, but it's either this or the Soviets are going to destroy them anyway. So I'm going to start with these ones here. This is a hesitant company anyway, so they can't do anything else. So they've actually managed to pass two, so they've got it down to one. Uh, the Tiger is going to rally and then fire, so I'm going to do that first. So it just tries to rally. It doesn't rally, but it will fire at our T-34. And a seven, it's damaged and suppressed, so it's missed. T-34 is going to fire back, because why not? So... Four is a miss anyway, so no effects there. So we rallied these. These ones over here are going to try to rally. Full 3D6. And a four, they've got one off. So that's taken up to two instead of being suppressed. The next one over here, same again, they need to rally. They've got all of theirs off, so that's great. Then the final one over here is on two shock. So let's see what they rally off. They've rallied two of those off, so that's good. Uh, that was a bit of a gamble, because as I say, if any of these had fallen back off the table, they would have counted towards losses, and the game would have been over for the Germans. But now they kind of bolstered themselves a little bit. But let's see what the Soviets do in their turn. First Soviet order is these who advance past the trenches and a firing of the Germans here on that edge. And they've hit with one dice. The Germans are saving on a four or above. Uh, no, they don't save, so that's giving them one shock at least. Next we have a T-34 versus a Tiger. Let's see if it hits. Three, no it doesn't even hit. But then we've got these T-34s versus the infantry up here. Uh, let's see what happens. Six, they've spotted them, the first one anyway, and landed two hits on those Germans. So they're saving on a four or above. Two fails, so they'll suppress them. Then the second T-34 is also firing and it has spotted them and has landed two shots on them. So let's see what they do. Now they need both of these to fail. So four or above for the Germans. If they fail this then they will get an automatic KIA and the game is over. But let's just see. Failed one. So it's a KIA roll. So five or six and the German section is destroyed. Two, no, <laughs> whoa, this is uh, skin of the teeth time right now. But we have one more Soviet attack over here against the company commander down there. So the German, the, the Soviets are going to fire first of all uh, before they start. <clears throat> so they're firing on 4d6, so that's four hits on that company commander. Uh, he's saving on a two or above though. He's saved all of those. So now the attack goes in. And the Soviets are rolling 66. And we don't get any saves on these. So we need fours and above. So that's two hits on our company commander. So he is suppressed and then gets a KIA roll. However, he fights back and doesn't cause any damage at all. So he is suppressed with a KIA roll. So let's see, five or a six and he is. Nope, he's not. However, he falls back. 3d6 and that is 11 inches and I think yeah that takes him off the table edge and he counts as a casualty towards the German casualties so that means the Soviets have won by destroying that company command but looking at the table I think that is a pretty obvious result anyway and there we are the final Final move, uh, Soviets pushed into this built up area of the hamlet, uh, destroyed that German uh, unit, the com company commander, uh, they managed at least this time to damage a tiger, 
if nothing else, but it costs them three tanks, the two T-3485s here, and also the T-3476. I'm very surprised, I would have thought that tag would have mauled the 76s, but it, uh, because it was damaged and shocked, it really couldn't do much. In the centre, the Soviets have pushed forward here, they were hesitant, but uh, they were pushing forward. That's why this unit over here of combat engineers couldn't actually get further forward either. Uh, the Germans were holding on grimly uh, to this top end here, but the, so the Soviets had captured this this line here. And what was remaining of the German line at the end of it was very little. So you've got a section here, sorry, a platoon here, one section left here, uh, the company commander, uh, that's the HQ stuff, and then another section here. So it was incredibly thin line, very little else was on there. Uh, the Germans only had one more platoon that they could bring on with a medium machine gun. The Soviets still had another two, three platoons they could bring on if they really needed it. So uh, the game was definitely a Soviet victory and a very bloody mess as well at the end of it. Now that was a fantastic game of old group. Really enjoyed that. I hope you have as well. Uh, if you have, give me a like and a subscribe. Give me a comment down below. Uh, I know old group at the moment is proving particularly popular. Uh, because it is a new set of rules, it is well worth checking out if you haven't already. Um, it's a great game, it's really nice, uh, even with the abstractions and everything. It's, uh, it's a fantastic game. Uh, really enjoyed that. I uh, hope you have, as I said. If you have, like I say, give me a share about, uh, give me a comment. And I will see you on the next Storm of Steel game.